today's video we're going to do some pin tucking. This is pin tucking on t-shirt material, a lightweight knit. This is two layers with a two millimeter twin needle. This is pin tucking the exact same settings on one layer of fabric. With two layers you get not as much of a defined ridge but with two with one layer you get a more prominent ridge. And this is true even if you use woven fabric versus knit fabric. And what we're going to be using today is the two millimeter twin needle and a pin tuck foot. It's a presser foot with some grooves on the bottom of it. Some people say that, oh, you've got to match your groove here with the size of your needles. They have nothing to do with one another. These grooves on the bottom, what you do is when you sew one row in and you go to sew another row, you ride in the groove. This, I'll show you in a few minutes when I sew it. So if you want to be closer, you do a close one. If you want to be farther, you use a farther one away. So this example is two, let's see, four millimeters apart. No, two millimeters apart with the two millimeter pin tuck foot. I've got one in my machine here and a presser foot here. Oh. Also, you know, it's going to be kind of hard to see on here. Do you see the, f the grain of this fabric? When you pin tuck, you either need to go parallel with the grain or 90 degrees against the grain. If you try and go at an angle, your ridge will warp and there's really not much you can do about it and it'll look awful. So when you plan on doing pin tucking with your fabric, plan on it either being 90 degrees off the grain or 100% with the grain. Now it's pretty easy to do. The method for this is your first one has to line up really well. So you might want to get out magnifying glasses and line it up the best you can. Do your first row of pin tucking. Now with the twin needle, when I finish, I'm, I raise up the presser foot and I raise it up all the way and I take a tool and I grab all the threads and pull it to the side like this so you don't pull on this and distort the last couple stitches in your pin tuck. And I, pin, I trim off all of the thread tails as I go so none of them get caught underneath it because that will cause a thread nest especially with twin needles. Now since we have one row done here when you put this in here you can decide this is one notch over it's going to be really close to this one this is two notches over it'll be a little more space two millimeters between if you want three millimeters, you go to the third space over, and then these will be three space, three millimeters from each other. I'm going to use two. You lower your presser foot. When you run it, just make sure you're lining up this, and it'll pretty much line up fairly well because this ridge will stick right in the ridge of the pin tuck foot.
two rows done. Also with pin tucking, you need to do your pin tucking on your fabric panel before you cut out your pattern and then put your pattern on top of it after you pin tuck. Because when you pin tuck, the width of your piece is going to get shorter because it's up, up, little bumps, pulls it in a little bit. Line it up in the groove again. Lower your presser foot. Do another row of pin tucking. I just pulled it out that time. You could see how it kind of pulled on the last stitch or two. That's why I use a tool to push it out. And that's how you pin tuck. Or This is one method of pin tucking. There's probably about four or five other methods I'll be showing later. But this is how you do it with the twin needle. And this is on two layers of fabric. 